Hi there guys, quick video here on the WWE and the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump. The WWE is willing to do nearly anything to score a big TV rating, but must avoid including President Donald Trump in any planning as SmackDown Live moves to Fox in October. Oh, by the way, this is an article from Daily DDT. I'm just going to see like, how much of this article I agree with. Uh, the idea that politics and professional sports are bedfellows isn't a new idea. As both have been linked throughout the history of play. But what about the world of professional wrestling? Well, there are multiple instances where the two have crossed paths. The WWE Universe may be in line for another opportunity to watch the madness as there's a brewing idea that the WWE may attempt to welcome back none other than the United States President Donald Trump. I have no idea if that's going to happen. I, I doubt it. But anyway, I'll continue. This is a move that goes beyond just being political, but but flies in the face of diversity and inclusion on multiple levels. From a historical standpoint, the first aspect of this conversation needs to be around the connection between Trump and the McMahon dynasty. Uh, okay, um, in many ways, Trump's early inclusion in WWE business helped play a role in the company surviving its early days of development. Trump Plaza played host to WrestleMania 4 and 5, plus we all remember his performance at WrestleMania 23 as Bobby Lashley's cornerman. That was the hair versus hair match between uh, like Trump and McMahon. That event was also the most purchased event in WWE history with 1.25 million buys. The examples don't stop there, but the most recent uh, iteration includes Linda McMahon being included as a cabinet member during Trump's administration. The links between the two are clear for everyone to see. Blake Ostriker, I think that says uh, Forbes laid out a clear idea as to why Trump could be included as the WWE moves its blue brand over to Fox. WWE ratings on SmackDown Live and Monday Night Raw, that's supposed to say, uh, continue to struggle. So much so that the move to bring in Eric Bischoff and Paul Heyman to lead both shows caught much of the wrestling industry off guard. With all elite wrestling building momentum and their weekly range sliding, leadership within the WWE understand that anything needs to be done to pop a big rating when when the move to Fox happens in October. Big names such as Brock Lesnar and John Cena are being advertised for the show, and and best believe that the company is looking at bringing back The Rock to the show he created. Um, that will depend on um, like Dwayne's Hollywood schedule and whether he'll be able to do that or not. Imagine the buzz that Trump's name would bring if he came back for a one-off appearance during the first weekend. Everyone would watch just to see the train wreck. But let's talk about why Trump's inclusion may tune off a large a uh, large watch of um, WWE Universe members. President Trump has made it a point to antagonize many individuals within minority groups throughout the United States. He's frequently attacked black athletes, such as calling NFL players sons of expletives. Um, I don't need to tell you what that word is. You'll know that yourself and questioning LeBron James' intelligence to its verbal attacks on Megan Rapinoe, hope I said that right, and his policies against the LGBTQ community within the military. 
These are just a few examples of recent actions that can be used to question Trump's mindset when we consider historical actions such as his stance against the innocence of the Central Park Five. Trump's record isn't the greatest in representing equality for all Americans. So the question becomes, what message does his inclusion send to those who watch the WWE and those that work in the company? The answer is the mes message isn't positive. Think back to how the New Day and other minorities responded to Hulk Hogan's return to WWE after his bigoted comments were revealed to the world. Their outspoken retort made it clear that there was displeasure in Hogan's inclusion. Whenever Trump is included in anything, there's an outcry from those that are opposed to his existence and that trying to and that trend will continue if he's brought back into the WWE fold. Very negative on Trump, this article. <laughs> um, another aspect of this conversion is uh, whether WWE leadership will care. We've seen that the company has taken strides to appeal to the louder voices that are questioning the company's historical issues with representation. <laughs> Both angles involving Becky Lynch and Kofi Kingston helped chip away at glass ceiling stereotypes that have long stood the test of time within the WWE. It would be interesting to hear what both Lynch and Kingston would have to say if Trump was involved with the brand, even for a one-off moment. No one would argue that an appearance from Donald Trump would pull massive ratings for an early edition of Smackdown Live when it moves to Fox this fall. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think Trump probably would help bring ratings. But the question is whether the outcry from those opposed to Trump would be enough to deter the decision. It would be hard to answer uh, that question with a yes, as this is the same promotion that will fully partners with the Saudi Arabian government. Uh, that's a good point. I think if um, like WWE were to bring Trump in for like the opening episode of SmackDown Live, um, I'm they possibly wouldn't care too much about backlash of, like from fans or anyone else as long as the ratings are up. Uh, that was a really good point about the um, like partnership with the Saudi Arabian government. But, uh, I, I don't think Trump will be involved when Smackdown Live moves over. We might see some big names on that show. Like they said, maybe appearances from uh, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, or maybe The Rock, or maybe some other legends. You know, just to help get the ratings for the opening show. But I doubt Donald Trump will be one of those people that are there. So, anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like, subscribe, and don't forget to share. And I'll see you next time.